Hello fellow YouTubers and friends. I found this neat little toy. Oh, last week I've been playing with it like crazy. This thing is amazing. It's a advertising display. There's a coil of copper wire, a bunch of resistors, transistors, some caps. Looks like a couple of diodes and stuff like that down in it. It's got a little uh, right here. Little uh, solar cell, just about the size you'd find in a, in a calculator. It's trying to work now. Why? I don't know. I've got a piece of electrical tape over it to you know, keep it from working, just so you can see it at a dead stop. I removed that electrical tape, and uh, the, the neon, not neon, the fluorescent lights above will actually fire this thing off, and it's self-starting. It's amazing. I'm just wondering if I could use this on my Milkovic two-stage oscillator. All right, take a, just watch it for a second, and you'll see it'll build up current in the caps, and then for some reason, how it fires, there it goes, you see it? The caps will fire, and there's two magnets, one on each side of the copper coil. Here, I'll move the camera around so you can see the side of it just a little bit. See there? There's two magnets in there, one on each side of the copper coil. All right, let's go back around here so we can get a good shot at it. Anyway, it had a some kind of a, like a logo on it, so it rocked back and forth. You know, advertising anything moving catches your eye. But see how how well it starts. I mean, from almost a dead stop. I couldn't get it to completely stop. Uh, if you notice when it started, it uh, it would fire and it would rock several times and it would fire again, rock several times until it gets a speed built. I'm just wondering if anybody can straighten me out. Am I right or wrong? that when it's rocking back and forth and not firing it's actually helping make some of the electricity because of the magnets passing across the coil and then when the capacitors get built completely up something fires them and then the uh, the coil becomes an electromagnet pushing the magnets out of the way and it's about one one time ever out of every five or six swings that it actually fires if anybody knows how this thing works please let me know <laughs> send me a PM or make a comment about it or whatever and uh, if anybody has any idea knows how this thing really works and how capacitors work because I don't and diodes if you could give me suggestions on how to go about building something similar to this to operate my Milkovic uh, two-stage oscillator I'd appreciate it just remember the oscillator has a pendulum that weighs over hundred and twenty pounds okay so I need a, a electromagnet and need to know what kind of current I'm going to need and the whole day I'm going nine yards. All right, that's pretty neat, huh? Let me see if I can get it pretty close to stop and uh, watch you, let you see it start itself all over again. Okay. Now watch in a minute, it'll fire. There you go. All right, watch it do it again. Actually, it's about eight or ten swings to, for each fire. I'm thinking that little solar cell couldn't possibly put out enough current to do that by itself. It's it almost has to be making electricity and stirring it, stir, storing it along with the solar cell itself. Now I can get I can get a uh, pretty good sized solar cell, one that'll put out 12 to 13 volts and 45 watts for less than a hundred dollars at uh, Oh, what's the name of that place? Anyway, it's a tool company that I buy my tools from. Anyway, they sell them there, and they're really cheap. Well, there you go. She's in full swing. Isn't that neat? Somebody who knows anything about this, please help me out. Thank you. Y'all have fun now.